I did see that they released Resident Evil Village on the iPhone. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Um, supposedly, it runs kind of well, and supposedly, it looks pretty dang good as well for a screen, especially that small. But, like... I don't know, man. Maybe I'm accidentally turning into a gaming elitist, and I really try not to, but, like, I feel like our game is gonna run. Like, just playing games on your phone, especially games like that, are just, just not gonna be very fun, right? Because you're, like, covering up half the screen with your fingers the entire game long. Isn't it just gonna be a bit of a disaster? But then again, I have, I have a, you know, I have consoles and I have my gaming computer and stuff. Yeah, maybe I'm, exactly, maybe I'm just old man shouts at cloud right now. That might be me. I hate those touchscreen controls, man. I like some games uh, on my phone. Yeah, some of them are okay. But the vast majority is just... Now, I know you can get those phone controllers. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Return to the hotel. I don't know. Maybe if, like, those folding phones become very popular and our mainstream, maybe that would make it a lot better. Maybe that will actually be like a big breakthrough in mobile gaming. I've never used a, a folding phone. They seem very overpriced right now. But that, maybe then it could kind of work, you know? When you have like the double screen and it actually, yeah. You have a folding phone, it helps for some games. Yeah, I can, I, I can imagine... I can imagine it's gonna be kind of nice. At that price, why not a console? Well, a lot of people don't want to have a console, right? Can I play the piano? I can't. Start performing? Wow. I guess I just don't... I'm not really too big on handheld gaming, I guess? But I do like the idea of having one device for as many things as possible. Maybe that's where VR once again comes in, man. Maybe that, uh, you know, Apple Vision Pro thingamajig. Maybe it'll overtake gaming, guys. I think mobile gaming is... Uh, not the best way to experience I games, but I know that some people, you know, like it the best that way. Game Boy was sick in back in the day, yeah. I really liked Game Boy back then, but games have evolved a lot, right? Like, there's no way. If Pokemon Red would release in 2023, and there wasn't, you know, anybody familiar with the Pokemon universe, and like, it was a completely new thing. There's no way it would take off, dude. <laughs> There's no way. The porn industry definitely will absolutely produce shit for the Apple Vision Pro, yes. 100%. They're always at the forefront of all that stuff, man. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> a giant Game Boy that you can play on a TV? I really wonder if at some point VR will take off, because in theory it's so cool. It's just that the execution has been pretty mediocre up to this point. At least all the stuff I've tried. Some of it is really cool, but... Okay, um, so I like the Fable Art Storm Slash. I think it's kind of nice. What about the handle? So this literally just makes the scaling better. If I use the baton. 
So this will literally just be an improvement other than the Fable art. On just the regular good old blade. Oh, well, I should make it if I want to use it. So I have seen a lot of people playing this game. For someone who has a couple thousand hours in Souls games, is this good and worth playing? Yes, if you've got a couple thousand hours in, in Soulsborne type of games, yes. I think the combat so far is slightly worse. Compared to like a Bloodborne or whatever. But it's by no means bad. And it's bringing some cool new ideas to the table. Honestly, it's very reminiscent though. It is very reminiscent of... Uh, Does this upgrade both the handle? I guess not. I'm just gonna upgrade the basic weapon though. I think that's a good idea. Can I get a plus three as well? No. Yeah, it's very Bloodborne-esque. The story actually is cool, yeah. Most uh, Soulsborne games have a story where you have to look up a video of Vadi Vidja before you can figure out what in the world's going on. This game actually has a pretty cool story, it seems. Yeah. Thank you very much, Temla, for the, uh, I think, uh, $6, something like that. It's Bloodborne-esque. Well, I, I think Bloodborne is genuinely one of the best games ever made. This is like a Bloodborne with slightly worse combat so far, interesting game mechanics, and far better graphics. Is it worth playing? If you've got a couple thousand hours in Bloodborne type of games, yes. Plus, one really nice bonus is that every time I tell a lie, I grow two extra inch. Uh, no, 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 okay, no, hold on. Uh, you bring your Eugenian cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's property upgrades based on your character's default abilities. Okay, let's see. So this is basically just the, um, yeah, I need to get the cranks again. You have to be very truthful, dude. You must have said a lot of lies. Very long pinky finger, I guess. Yeah. It's insane that they haven't yet ported Bloodborne to the PC. Or even to the PlayStation 5. <laughs> it's gotta be something they have in store. Like, there's no way that they aren't. Maybe I'm dumb, but like, there's no reason not to. Um, can I upgrade? I'll use my power. Bearer of the curse. Seek, lest, seek. I wonder if I can respec at some point. Because I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to focus on. So, so far my current weapon, the one I actually want to use, this one. This one scales with motivity and technique. I'll use. Motivity and technique. I guess I'll upgrade this one first. I don't know. We'll assume that I can. We'll assume that I can change my uh, my ways if I want to later. Yeah, from what I understand, um, the um, exclusivity thing for PlayStation 4 had run out a while ago or something? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe I should go bring the... the doll back. Well, Demon's Souls is on the PlayStation 5 now, right? And that game is awesome. So I think they had like maybe like a 10 years exclusivity type of thing or something. Oh, the loading bar is the nose of Pinocchio? Hold up. I only just now realized that part. I am... Okay, maybe you guys probably already seen that. Hold up. Look, look at the loading screen. Right below me. Look! It's his nose that's growing. That's kind of cute. Does that mean the fast traveling is a lie? Maybe. Okay, I gotta go over here, though. 
It says now lying? Oh, I've only just now realized it. Yeah, NVMe, uh, NVMe SSDs are too fast, says admin. I can't read the loading screen anymore, dude. 2023 gamer flexes. Oh, my hard drive is too quick. I can't read the loading screen tips. <laughs> Uh, where was the lady that needed, uh... I don't remember anymore, dude. There was a lady that really desperately wanted, um... Can I fall down here and not die? <laughs> oh, I can! Does that work in real life if I jump off a roof? That's pretty good. I think I could jump off of a tall roof at least once. Okay. I don't know where I am. I just wanted to help out a lady. Yeah, the button guide has disappeared since the tutorial area. It's just the tutorial area is kind of low. Um, I don't remember where the lady was. No, it's not over here. She was higher up. She was right after the spot where you encountered the butterfly? That's over here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the butterfly. We went in here. And then she was over... There she is. I got you a fake baby! You found her. I did! She's kind of a doll. I could sense her from miles away. Oh, my sweet Elena. We're so good. Please let me hold her. There, there, my baby. I missed you so much. What Where's my reward? Do you think? Where's my loot? Uh, I have to tell a lie. She's a cute baby. That's right, kind one. I think this will give me more loot. You've granted me my only wish, my sweet Elena. <gasps> going to be happy now. So she's turning into a uh, a puppet. Thank you. Or she already is a puppet. So much. Kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. No, 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 no. I need something more than that. Oh, she gave me a thing called feel? Ugh. I hate feeling. Records you obtain while playing the game can be played using the gramophone at the hotel. You can listen to the music on the records to obtain humanity. The song is called Feel? I wanna feel. I wanna heal. Like I thought was never real. I wanna let... Okay. We'll look for the gramophone. I haven't seen the gramophone, but... She's literally giving me the feels. Oh, there it is. Okay. 
Close your eyes Come to me Feel the rise Just dance with me all through the night Turn it off Close to you I feel good Cause I just don't feel Dude, this is sick! So it actually shows it right over there on the left side. Oh, I can change the songs as well if I want to? That's kind of awesome, man! So it gets quieter the further you are away from the gramophone player, I guess. Yeah, I don't think surround sound was a thing back in the gramophone days. You would have to hit play at the exact same button or at the exact same moment. That's cool. I really like that mechanic. That's fun. Alright. I wonder if it'll still work when I'm this far away though, because this fast travel location is not particularly close. Dude, I am really liking this game so far. Good stuff. It's kind of cool how like... Elden Ring has almost made this kind of genre of game mainstream. Which I honestly never thought was gonna happen, because it really feels like these type of games... ...are very niche. And somehow they aren't. Somehow a lot of people seem to be enjoying them, which is pretty amazing. Okay, I'm gonna do one more attempt on the boss, and then I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I mean, I'm gonna destroy the boss, and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom. That's it. No, 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 no. I got this. I got this memory. I feel like you don't believe me. That's okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That kind of hits at a delay. Yeah. I need to be careful about my stamina. Because I ran out there. The music as well, though. The full orchestra for this. I love that there's an, a little indicator as to where I need to be in order to be in the right place. Oh shit, okay. Phase two? So my electric- oh shit! Okay, that hurts. Okay, he just picked me up and... He's treating me like a puppet! Wait. He's pulling me on a little string! Woo! Sick! No, 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 we're not gonna use the summon. I don't wanna use the summon. Maybe at some point I will use the summon, but I don't know. I don't really like playing these games with summons. Yeah, this weapon I upgraded a couple of times, and it's... 
It's nice. Alright. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Time to kill the boss. I like that I don't have to pick up my, um... I'm gonna call them souls. I don't know what they're called. Ergos. That's a stupid name. I've, I like that I don't have to go into the boss room to pick them up and then, you know, look for them in the middle of an engagement. Oh, I thought I had it. Fuck. I was so proud of myself, too. I was already proud in advance that I had it. <laughs> Unironically. Okay, here we go, here we go. I had it! Proud of myself. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Had it! Okay, I can use my Giga Chat attack. There it is. Now we do the little finisher move. Boom, baby. Are you gonna go to phase two? He is gonna go to phase two. So that electric shock bar, I'm assuming I should not let it build up. I know, I'm a strategic master, mate. I'm gonna have to use my heal early, I think. Just so I can start charging the free one. Oh, I blocked every single one of those. Or I parried them, I guess. Uh, I think some of those were blocked. Oh shit, I thought I was out of distance. Parrying is better than dodging most of the time. Fuck. <sighs> the cert, uh, the the red attacks cannot be dodged out of. Maybe if you have enough distance or something, but you can't invincibility frame them, so you have to parry them. You also can't block them. The game is a lot more parry focused rather than block focused. Yeah, I think you can't run away, but oftentimes the distance is kind of just difficult to get to, so you're kind of forced into parrying, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of delayed attacks which make it. That was a really bad start. That was much better. That attack is very delayed. I thought I blocked it, but apparently not. Okay. Finish your move. A good bit of damage. Oh, the music is awesome, isn't it? They switched to phase two. This is the second guy who does it at like 60%. Oh, 
shit. Ah, oh, that did so much damage to me. Electric shock is pretty much full now as well. So do I just back off while the bar is nearly full? But now I'm also losing the buildup of my blue bar in the top left hand corner when I'm not engaged. Oh, it actually just discharges everything. That might be due to the electric shock. Maybe the bar already did fill up and it's a debuff that's now active on me. Might just be the case. Because everything got discharged. Hmm. Yeah, I can summon. I can summon on this boss. I don't really like summoning if I don't have to. I don't think I need to. The red bar seemed to be going down. Yeah, it's yeah. The red bar was also going down. I think that's a bug though, because this is a zero hit run after all. Only fall damage counts. I need my stamina back for some of these fights. Here we go. Excellent. Is he gonna go phase two already? Oh, I took a lot of damage from something. What the heck? Yeah, so the electric shock bar right now is a different color, so I think previously it must have filled in. I thought maybe I just misnoticed. Fuck me. Yeah, he leaves behind a little bit of a, a circle or like a little line that still deals damage over time. Forward? Ah, fuck me. I thought I was far enough forward. Okay. Well, now I'm dead now. Yeah. Uh, doing well in phase one. Phase two is tricky. So, when he attacks with some of those static charges, he leaves behind a little line on the floor and then it explodes like three seconds later. Uh, I'm taking way too much damage from that. I actually parried like seven times in a row there. Electric shock occurs when electric blitz damage builds up. Both your character and the monsters will take increased electric blitz and physical damage. Your character will receive continuous damage during your fable slots. Or yeah, to your fable slot. That's what I that's what I noticed. Monsters will experience increased stagger damage. The higher your electric blitz resistance, the slower the electric shock gauge charge speed. Use a purification ampoule to remove status ailments. Nah, we're not gonna use that. We're just gonna try and prevent it. Using consumables? I might, I might summon. Yeah, no, it's okay. But I'm having a good time not summoning, so if I don't want to summon, I'm not going to summon. I'm not saying I won't summon, but I think it's going to be more fun if I don't need to.
Okay. Oh god, I am so low in health. Holy crap, I didn't even realize that part. Probably not ideal. Okay, let's try and not die in one hit this time around. Truck build up is kind of nutty, though. I don't have that many heals. Ooh. I mean, I feel like I'm doing really well, but I can only get hit like one little small bit of damage. And he heals most of that back. Yeah, like, exactly. Those blocked hits still deal damage to me over time. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and do the in-game mechanic of summoning. I don't know, maybe the summoning mechanic in this game is different. So this is the first time... ...we're getting to a point where we can use it, so let's give it a try. Why use consumables? Yeah, I could use a consumable as well to build or prevent that build-up, I guess, so much. What is this? Marvel versus Capcom? No. Oh, well. <laughs> I said I was gonna try out the summoning mechanic, and then I didn't. Yeah, the block damage is still kind of insane. At least I'm doing a much better job parrying here than I did at the beginning of today's stream, no? So that's kind of nice. Maybe I should try dodging in phase two rather than attacking and blocking. I feel like that's gonna go poorly. But it's worth a shot. So I'm gonna try and dodge through his attacks. Nice, good start. <laughs> this guy's fucking Pikachu now. Okay, no, that doesn't work at all when he's charged up like that. Okay. No, he's still gonna hit by the charge. <sighs> it's fun. It's fun, Plasmid. Yeah. I don't think dodging through works. You know, one thing that is cool about the Bloodborne and Dark Souls games is that you know that you're playing with other people, despite the fact that it's like a single-player game. You know those blood messages and stuff? They're kind of fun. I actually kind of like those. Amazing chest ahead. Like, all of those messages and, like, the blood splatters and stuff. Kind of miss that a little bit. I know that's, like, a silly reason to make a game like this online, but... Okay, let's see. So I can spend a star fragment. Try finger, butthole. Yeah, yeah, it feels like you're still playing a multiplayer game a little bit. What'd I do? Did it work? Maybe it only appears in the boss room? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when he's using the other, other dude as a target, I can just smack him. Does he finish him? No. My 
ally is going to die pretty quickly, though. Yeah, that makes a massive difference. Just having an extra target there. All the difference in the world. The P organ is <laughs> quint. What did it just say? The P organ is quintessential. It just said that on the little slide up thing. I don't know if I blocked it with my camera. I may have, but it literally said that. The P organ is quintessential. I don't know what else it's, but it disappeared too fast. But I mean, the P-Organ is essential, yeah. I mean, you know, we can make fun of it all we like, chat. We can be childish about it. But do you really want to put all those urologists out of a job? That'd be mean, no? Those guys went to school for like 30 years. Hey, Kaizen. Thank you. <sighs> Imagine going to school for 30 years and then decided, you know what? Urologist. That's what I want to be. Hello. Rila? What does that say? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, cool. This is the part of the stream where Loco speaks Sims language. Yeah, yeah, we speak Sims. It's what we do. Now, apparently, her uh, sister got her final grade for her school. And she now officially graduated. Well, she hasn't officially graduated yet, but apparently she got the final result. So, she went over there for a little bit, which is pretty awesome. She passed. Yeah, she did pass. Let me text her real quick. Um... That's awesome. GG. GGing out of school is a good moment, guys. I'm texting Laurent's sister. Yes, I am, Chet. Is that weird? Were you? <laughs> um. Alright. Got 5,000 souls from that. I think I'm gonna go back before I continue. To Hotel Krat. I feel like Kret is not a very cool name for a hotel. Sorry to the hotel owners, but like, it's a shitty name for a hotel. Ergo, sorry, I have Ergo. I've got like 7,000, 6,000 Ergo. <laughs> it's my grandma's birthday this Saturday, chat, jeez. Yes, I'm gonna go to my grandma's birthday party. You guys are jealous. The parade leader's ergo. And the broken hero's ergo. You saved Geppetto. He's on the I did. Floor. Oh. Can hardly wait to see you. Can I, I level up? Power to help you. Thank you. Um, what do we level up now? Is it possible to respec in this game? Well, we'll also need, we'll always need vitality and vigor.
Records you obtain while playing the game can be played using the gramophone at the hotel. Right. You can listen to the music on the records to obtain humanity. What does humanity do, guys? What good is humanity? Have you guys ever been a human? Me neither. What's a human? It's like a, like a bald ape. Like a naked, naked monkey? Geppetto! My man! This is your office? I thought you were a simple carpenter kind of dude who just made like a doll. This guy has got his own execution chair. Or dentist chair, I don't know. Anyways, look at that. He's got an adjutant. Okay, music, stop it. Stop, stop, stop playing the music, please. I feel like you're gonna get my video demonetized. Probably not, but you never know. Da -da -da. I have to sing over it. Okay. Those faces are pretty real, man. Ah, you've returned. I have, mate. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. I am Always wearing the remember. dude that was attacking you. I'm wearing you his head. Precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Thank you, bro. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian. Hey, Boulevard. nice, Anikara. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Vinini, went to stop them. Vinini, but he never That's came it. back. Please, go save him and shut down the factory. For somebody who says he cares about me, he does give me a lot of very dangerous assignments. P organs are the source of your powers. I wasn't kidding! Collect quartz to get the strength you P need. P organs are the source of my power. It's true. Remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. I feel like this man is manipulating me pretty hard, dude. Use the P-Organ slots to activate your character's latent abilities. Equip- maybe P-Organ does not sound so funny in Korean or something. Like, the fact that it's actually called P-Organ? <laughs> Porgon. Maybe we should call them Porgons. Use your Porgon slots to- <laughs> Equip Quartz on the Porgon to obtain its corresponding effect. If you equip Quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you can gain the group's synergy effect. Don't get what you're talking about. Each time the synergy effects of two groups are activated, the next step is unlocked. You can get a greater variety of effect as you take your Porgon to higher faces. Por Porgon sounds really nasty. Yeah, no. Porgon? Porgon. No. I want to take my pork into higher faces, though. That's what I want to do. Increasing or to increase the staggerable window. Increases the time of the animal sta- Okay, that's the animal? The enemy's staggerable status. Increases the number of pulse cells you can use. 
Enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion? Increases the number of maximum charges of Fable slots. I think Pulse sells, right? Like, this is an extra heal, dude. All of these are no-brainers, though. We'll go for an extra heal for now. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. I thought I was just gonna put one in there, but now I have to make another choice. So all of these require one of these thingies at the bottom. And hence the guard regain recovery one. You equip two quarts and you get the bonus. Oh, so after I get two quartz things equipped, then I unlock the plus one extra pulse cell. So for now, I can just choose any of these things. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that is a bit confusing. Okay. Enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks. And enhances the attack of fatal attacks. Enhances the attack of fable arts. Increases an enemy's staggered duration. I don't think I like that all too much. Enhances guard regain recovery when attacking enemies. Enhances discharge pulse cell charging upon a fatal attack. Lowers the damage received when pulse cells are discharged. Lower the damage received when dodging. Charge legion when eliminating an enemy. Wait, charges an amount of legion when an enemy is eliminated? Lowers the stamina consumption of charge attacks? Charge attacks as in like... Attacks that you charge up before releasing, right? Charges Fable when a perfect guard is successful, increases weapon durability. Enhances the charge effect of Legion Magazine. Increases the amount of Ergo gained from eliminating the enemies. Okay, well that's amazing. Increases the possession limit for consumables. Okay, no, we'll do this. Increases the amount of souls I gain per eliminated enemy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the P cells are stored in the balls. For the P organ. That's it. That's true. That is factual and correct. The city of Krat. Ask me any question. Ask me anything? Yo, okay, Geppetto. Geppetto, tell me about Venini. Venini works as the puppet's main base. I hate it's a puppets. Factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Robots making Venini robots? Himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Venini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. Fanini is the final boss, dude. I'm telling you guys right now. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with him. Perhaps no news is good news. Yeah, we upgraded our P-Organ to boost our Ergo. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Very important. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees. Okay. The Malam District and the Rosa Isabel Street. I don't know what's happening in the Malam District. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood sees the neighborhood. Wait, I had two quarts? All I'm hearing... Hold up. The city asked me... Can you, uh... Wait, how do I continue my, uh, my, my porganing? How do I porgan, Chet? Do I porgan in this chair? Because I love myself some porganing, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, yeah, yeah. Activate your porgan. Okay. You're right, maybe. I did have another quartz. Just let me porgan if I want to, man. Just let me porgan in peace. Oh, I can't do another one from that category. Okay, let's go with this one. I kind of like that. And now I get an extra cell, and then maybe I will unlock this eventually? 
Change the shape. No safe shape memories on the device. Alrighty. It's time for me to change my outfit, guys. Get from City Hall. I've been an ass for long enough. With the key I just gave you. Thanks, mate. Love you. Vanini gave me that key. Yeah, I know. And now he's missing. You said that twice. Rescue him if you can. Uh, uh, uh. I am gonna change the look of my gear. My Pargan has evolved. My P Organ. I will be Timothy once more. There I am. Someone's memory? Or a white shirt? The uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school? Okay. I will run that for a little bit. I do look very dignified indeed. I look like a sailor. Bearer, seek, seek, lest. That's why we're both here. That's all I can say for now. I'll use my power. 